famous architect X once said, Good castle design transcends time and creates an everlasting legacy. It's a fusion of art, engineering, and grandeur that captures the imagination and leaves a lasting impression on all who behold it. Welcome back, opulent kings and queens! Today, we have an extravagant treat in store for you. Join me on a journey through time and opulence as we embark on tour of the world's most lavish castles. These architectural marvels have witnessed centuries of history, and each one tells a story of grandeur and luxury. From the opulent halls of Tapkapi Palace to majestic towers of Neuschwanstein Castle, get ready to be dazzled. So, sit back, relax, and let's dive into the fascinating world of opulent castles. Our first stop takes us to Istanbul, Turkey, where we encounter the breathtaking Topkapi Palace. The magnificent palace was built in the 15th century by Sultan Mehmed the Conqueror, and it served as the residence of Ottoman sultans for nearly 400 years. It is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and one of the most popular tourist destinations in Istanbul. The palace complex is massive, covering an area over 700,000 square meters. It is divided into four main courtyards, each with its unique characters. The first courtyard is the largest and most public area. It was where the Sultan's military and administrative staff would gather. The second courtyard is more intimate, and it is where the Sultan's family and household would live. The third courtyard is the most sacred area of the palace, and it is where the Sultan's private chambers and the imperial harem were located. The fourth courtyard is the smallest, and it is where the palace kitchens, stables, and other service buildings were located. The Dopkapi Palace is home to an incredible collection of art and artifacts, including the imperial treasury, which houses a vast collection of jewels, weapons, and other treasures. The palace also houses the harem, which was the residence of the sultan's wives, concubines, and children. The harem is a complex and fascinating place, and it offers a unique glimpse into the lives of the women who lived there. Imagine walking in the footsteps of sultans surrounded by stunning Islamic art and exquisite treasures. The Tupkapi Palace is a truly magical place, and it is easy to imagine what it must have been like to live there during the height of the Ottoman Empire. The palace is a testament to the power and wealth of the Ottomans, and it is a must-see for any visitors in Istanbul. Next, we travel to Scotland, where Stirling Castle reigns supreme. Perched on a volcanic rock, this fortress boasts stunning views and a rich history. From its beautifully decorated Great Hall to the regal royal palace, Stirling Castle showcases Scottish royalty at its finest. Moving on, we arrive at Elts Castle in Germany. This fairy tale like castle is a hidden gem nestled amidst the enchanting Bavarian Alps. Its whimsical turrets, picturesque surroundings, and magnificent interiors make it a true delight for the eyes. Elts Castle serves a testament to the romantic and opulent architecture of the 19th century. Elts Castle is located in the Eiffel region of Germany, about an hour's drive from Cologne. It has been in the possession of the Elts family for over 800 years, making it one of the oldest inhabited castles in the world. The castle is a masterpiece of medieval architecture. With a mix of Romanesque, Gothic, and Renaissance style, the castle is divided into three main sections, the palace, the middle castle, and the upper castle. The palace is the oldest part of the castle, dating back to 12th century. It is home to the castle's chapel, as well as several staterooms. The middle castle was built in the 14th century, and it houses the castle's treasury, which is home to a collection of gold, silver, and jewels. The upper castle was built in the 15th century, and it offers stunning views of the surrounding countryside. The castle's surroundings are just as beautiful as the castle itself. 
The castle is surrounded by a lush forest, and it is located on the banks of Ellsback River. The castle's gardens are also worth exploring, and they feature a variety of flowers, trees, and sculptures. Elts Castle is a popular tourist destination, and it is open to the public for tours. Visitors can explore the castle's interior, as well as its grounds. The castle is also a popular spot for weddings and other venues. If you are looking for a truly magical experience, then Elts Castle is the place for you. This fairy tale like castle is a hidden gem, and it is sure to amaze and enchant you. If you are given a chance, would you like to live in this castle? Which castle do you think is the most extravagant? Share your thoughts in the comments below. Our journey continues to England, where we encounter the world famous Windsor Castle, the oldest and largest occupied castle in the world. It is still used by the British royal family as their weekend residence. Explore its lavish state apartments, admire the intricate St. George Chapel, and immerse yourself in the rich heritage of the British monarchy. Crossing the English Channel to France We find the opulent Chateau de Chambord, a Renaissance masterpiece nestled in the Loire Valley. The castle's double helix staircase is one of its most iconic features. It is said that Leonardo da Vinci may have designed the staircase, which allows two people to ascend or descend without ever meeting. The facade of the castle is also impressive. With its 77 chimneys and 426 rooms, the grounds of the castle are vast, covering an area of 5,440 acres. Chateau de Chambord is a true symbol of French elegance and opulence. It was built in the 16th century by King Francis I, who was a great lover of the arts and architecture. The castle was intended to be a hunting lodge but it quickly became a symbol of the French Renaissance. Today, Chateau de Chambord is one of the most popular tourist destinations in France. It is open to the public year-round, and visitors can explore the castle, its gardens, and its surrounding forests. Onward to Japan, we discover the awe-inspiring Hameji Castle. With its towering white walls, intricate architectural detail, and stunning defensive features, this castle is often referred to as the White Heron. It stands as a testament to the artistry and craftsmanship of Japanese castle architecture. As we journey back to Scotland, we encounter the majestic Edinburgh Castle. Perched high above the city, it offers panoramic views and a glimpse into Scotland's turbulent past. Walk the cobblestone streets, explore the crown jewels, and feel the weight of history upon your shoulders. No tour of opulent castles would be complete without a visit to the Palace of Versailles in France. This opulent palace, built during the reign of Louis XIV, showcases the epitome of French Baroque architecture and interior design. Its expensive gardens, grand hall of mirrors, and sumptuous apartments will transport you to a world of lavishness and extravagance. The palace was originally built as a hunting lodge for Louis XIII in the early 17th century. However, his son Louis XIV decided to transform it in a grand royal residence. Over the next several decades, the palace was expanded and embellished by some of the greatest architects and artists of the time, including Louis Laveau, Jules Hardouin Monsard, and André Lanotte. The result is a palace that is simply awe-inspiring. The Hall of Mirrors, for example, is a 73-meter-long gallery that is inlined with 17 mirrors. The mirrors reflect the sunlight that streams through the tall windows, creating a dazzling effect. The apartments of the royal family are also lavishly decorated, with gilded ceilings, marble floors, and intricate tapestries. The gardens of Versailles are just as impressive as the palace itself. The gardens were designed by André Lenote, who was one of the most famous landscape architects of all time. 
The gardens are laid out in a series of parterres, or formal gardens, that are dotted with fountains, statues, and pavilions. The gardens are so large that they can be seen from space. A visit to the Palace of Versailles is a truly unforgettable experience. It is a place where you can step back in time and experience the opulence and extravagance of the French court. If you are looking for a truly luxurious and memorable vacation, then a visit to Versailles is a must. If you've visited any of these opulent castles or have any other extravagant recommendations, share your experiences in the comments below. Let's continue to inspire each other with tales of opulence. Our next destination takes us to Poland, where the mighty Malberg Castle awaits. This UNESCO World Heritage Site is the largest brick castle in the world and stands as a testament to the Teutonic Knight's power. Admire its Gothic architecture, explore its vast halls, and let your imagination run wild with tales of knights and chivalry. Lastly, for number 1, Neuschwanstein Castle was built in the late 19th century by King Ludwig II of Bavaria. It's a fairy tale like castle that sits atop of rocky outcrop, overlooking the Hohenschwango Valley. The castle is inspired by a medieval architecture, but it also features some modern amenities such as running water, central heating, and an elevator. It is awash in towers and turrets. The castle has 20 towers, ranging in height from 50 to 216 feet. The turrets add to the castle's fairy tale look and make it a popular subject for photographers. Neuschwanstein Castle is full of whimsical details. The castle's interior is decorated with frescoes, stained glass windows, and sculptures of animals and birds. The king's bedroom is even decorated with a waterfall. Despite its medieval appearance, Neuschwanstein's castle was equipped with state-of-the-art technology for its time. The castle has a running water, flush toilets, and a central heating system. It also has an elevator, which was a rarity in the 19th century. Neuschwanstein Castle is a truly unique and magical place. It's a must-see for anyone who's visiting Germany. And there you have it, my opulent friends. A grand tour of the world's most magnificent castles. From Turkey to Germany, Japan to France, these architectural wonders showcase the pinnacle of human creativity and opulence throughout the ages. So, what are you waiting for? Start planning your opulent adventure and witness these remarkable castles in all their glory. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to join us on more opulent escapades. And as always, remember that true opulence lies not only in the grandeur of castles, but in the richness of our experiences. Until next time, stay opulent!